Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the channel history tag. So this tag was created by Ben Sanders, and he was also good enough to tag me in the original video, so thank you, Ben. There are eight questions to this tag, and it's all to give you an idea, really, of your, I guess, the history of your YouTube channel. So this could be interesting, because I have a bit of a, an unusual history, I guess. So, question number one, tell us about your very first video, and where you were in life when you filmed it. So, I've had my channel since I think I signed up in like 2006. Some of the first videos I uploaded were literally like clips from TV shows that I liked because it was back in the Wild West when there was like no no one cared about copyright, I guess. Um, the first video that I specifically remember making and that's still on my channel, which I'll link to below, was a documentary on, a short documentary, on the Tower of London and ghost stories that me and a bunch of, I think it was me and three other students from my creative writing course we all did. Basically we had a lesson where as part of the work we had to do, we had to deliver a presentation, but the teacher said that we didn't necessarily have to do a live presentation and one way to do it would be to do a little video. So it was a 10 minute presentation, so we made a 10 minute video about, you know, ghosts in the Tower of London. Question number two, tell us about your most viewed video and what went into creating it. So my actual most viewed video is, I believe, again, a short clip of Dave Gorman's important astrology experiment. He's a British comedian who basically followed his horoscope for 40 days and 40 nights and got his twin brother just to live life as normal. And then they kind of compared the results, it was very funny. Um, but my most viewed original content is, I think it's my Goosebumps book collection of all things. I don't know why, but there, there we go. And what went into creating it, I literally just took all my Goosebumps books and just talked through them all. Question number three, tell us about a video that you were most excited about when you finished it. Possibly my Latvian vlog from when I went to Latvia to discover Latvian literature and I did like a voiceover for it where I talked about the trip. And yeah, I'll link to that below as well. Um, I'll link to all of these videos. Uh, as, as I talked about them, if you want to check them out. Question number four, tell us about a point in your booktubing slash authortubing career that was particularly challenging either creatively or personally. I don't know really, I mean I think after a certain point you start to feel the pressure of creating the content and you start to second guess yourself a lot and you start to attract a little bit more negativity. Like to begin with everyone's super friendly and then I think it's just inevitable after your channel takes off a little bit you start to attract some, you know, people who are maybe not so nice and you just you know you have to learn to deal with that so I guess that's about it but then after a while you sort of just stop caring too much and like well for me at least I just make the kind of videos I enjoy watching other people make so question number five tell us about a moment in your booktubing slash author tubing career that was a high point for you or something you're particularly proud of I don't know why I'm jigging so much by the way very slightly anxious but not enough that I shouldn't be doing this, you know? I'm just jigging, so don't mind me, I'll just keep jigging. Uh, a high point for me. Probably hitting 2,000 subscribers, because basically, before I started, I had about 600 from like various, well, because I've had this channel since like 2006, as I say, so I think just from my previous videos I used to make, so we used to do some writing videos and this and that, some music and all this stuff. And then when you start BookTube, it's I want to say it's fairly easy to pick up new subscribers, like your first couple of hundred or whatever, just especially because for me I'd been watching BookTube for about three years beforehand as well, so I just started commenting on people's videos and they were just kind enough to return the favour, you know? So um, getting from like 600 to 1000 was less of an achievement than getting from 1000 to 2000, because in a way getting from 1000 to 2000 was like getting my first thousand, if that makes sense. Not that numbers matter anyway. Question number six, tell us about an aspect of being a content creator that you had to try really hard to get good at or are still struggling with. Uh, again, I, I think it's a lot of the self-doubt the self -doubt you get. I mean, like I had people say to me, for example, like this whole idea of if you can't say anything positive about a book, why talk about it at all? Like people accusing me of reading books just to dislike them. It's like, no, I read it because it was popular and then disliked it. And like I did, I read it because it was popular and I'd heard about it on BookTube, you know, a couple of different books like that. Um, but it's, I guess it's that mindset that some other people have and like people say, and, like for example, I got one where like somebody made a bunch of like personal attacks on me and then, um, and then they kind of justified that by saying, well, you're criticizing a book and you're doing that in public. So why can't I criticize you? And it's like, but I'm criticizing a piece of work, you know, I'm not just sitting here like going, oh, so-and-so sucks because they're ugly or whatever. It's bit different. Question number seven, tell us a story that sticks out in your mind that happened as a result of you being a part of booktube slash authortube. Well when I was at London Book Fair 2017 or 2018, 
Uh, I met up with Scott from Buckax and we had a pint, so that was pretty good. I think that that was that was 2018. I think that was the year I'd been to Latvia as well. So then I saw the Latvians at, at London Book Fair, and then yeah, went for a pint with Scott. So that was cool. And we just talked about the book industry. We're just going to pretend it's not super obvious that it's another day and another camera. What happened was I ran out of space on my phone, which I was using to film on because I lost my camera. And then my camera turned up. So now I'm back on the camera with question eight. All right, you just spent however long talking about yourself. You're awesome, we know. It's why we watch your content. Tell us about someone else in the booktube slash authortube community that you think deserves more attention than they get at the moment. So I'm going to go for Brad Proctor. He's a relatively new booktuber. He mostly talks about horror. And I just really enjoy his content. And I think he only has like 60, 70 subscribers or something. And he's great. So um, definitely check Brad out. I mean... To be honest, he was just the first person who sprung into mind when I just looked at this question just now. There are so many fantastic people on the platform, and it's it's nice to be amongst y'all. Alright, so that then brings us to unofficial question 9, which is tag some people. So I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to go into my channel comments, and I'm going to see who has commented on the basis that they might then see this. So, we're going to tag Book Your Imagination, Joel Swagman... Uh, I'm going to tag Jay Shea, Lost in a Bookcase, Brad Proctor, of course, yeah, Alex Black, Emma Rosen Books, I'll tag Todd the Librarian as well, Jason's Weird Reads, Charles Heathcote, and I'm going to tag um, One Book, One Review as well, I don't know if she does tag videos, I think she does every now and then, but um, she's got a really interesting channel as well, so it would be cool to know know the history there. So there we have it, that's what I made of the channel history tag, as always, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers, I guess, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video, thanks a lot, bye bye.